Good morning, everybody. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are in the world. Um, so I'm so happy to come on this quick live, and this is just to formally welcome everyone who is new to the Deeper Life Bible Church Singles Group. Um, all of us admins and, and moderators are always happy to see your questions, your comments, and and some of your <laughs> fights <laughs> sometimes. It's interesting to, to be in a group of young people who want to talk about Christian relationship. I'm really happy to see all of you. And I love to listen to your conversations. I love to read some of those beautiful stories that come from our um, great writers and all the questions, all the answers that are brought by our leaders, our married people on the group, our pastors, our marriage committee leaders who are also bringing um, answers. I'm very happy that somehow, somewhere, so many people are being blessed by this group. Uh, first of all, I'd like to uh, formally invite you all to the prayer, the night vigil, or the short two or one and a half hour prayers that we're going to have uh, coming up on the 1st of April, 2022. It's a time to pray. I want to believe that you know that we are Christians here and we believe in committing our uh, marriage to God in prayer. So we are hoping that you will be happy to join the prayer, to bring your problems to the Lord. And as the songwriter said, take your burdens to the Lord and leave it there. It's going to be a great time in the presence of God. God is going to do great things in your life, in my life, and everybody who you want to come to pray for. Um, so that's just a quick one, just to let you know that I will be at the prayer and I want to see every one of you at that prayer. Uh, there's a topic that is going on right now. I actually wrote a post and I was speaking to sisters, okay? And I was saying that we shouldn't um, be conscious of just the status of the brother. Not just be conscious of only his background, the kind of car that he drives, um, the kind of job that he holds. And I don't mean that we should have a poverty mentality. I am not poor and I don't believe in, in being poor. I don't believe in marrying a man um, that you would marry and become richer or poorer than you are before you got married. I always used to say this, that I didn't come to this world to suffer. And I think that if you have dreams, you have expectation, you want to marry someone with whom you can build a beautiful home, and you definitely don't want to suffer in your marriage, of course. Nobody, no lady, no sister, wants to marry a man with whom she's going to spend the rest of her life suffering. She doesn't want to live with a man where she would even wish for her father's house. There's nobody like that. There's no girl like that that wants to marry a man that she, that she'll regret marrying. Let's put it that way. What I mean by that post is that we as ladies, you as ladies, should not, you should not be after what does he have, what does he not have. And you see so many ladies, they're hovering about around some men and they're like just all over him. Just because they think, oh, he drives a Lexus. Oh, he drives a Range Rover. Oh, he looks so posh and so tush. Oh, he's this handsome and he's this cute. No. He's coming from this background. He's, he's born, he has a foreign citizenship or he has a double or, tri or triple citizenship or they think that, okay, like I heard once when I was on campus, a lady said she was categorizing different kind of men. Can you believe that? She's like, oh, this brother, uh, he doesn't have a good future. Oh, that brother, any lady that marries him, 
she's she has a good future she's going to live well she's going to end well uh she's going to have this or that she's going to have kids in this country or that country no 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 you don't know the future of any man i don't know the future of any man when you are courting somebody and you talk to the person and you understand how they think and that's the place of courtship if somebody proposes to you and you have gone to pray and you are, you are sure that God is leading you to this brother, to marry this brother. I expect every lady, every lady to first pray sincerely with, without any strings, attached, like without anything, without any expectation, without trying to first go to dig this man's life to find out, is he my kind of man? Is he, does he have this much money in the bank? Does he have this connection? Does he have that connection? All those things don't guarantee a good home. It doesn't guarantee a beautiful marriage. It doesn't guarantee that, uh, that the fact that the man is doing well today, that he's going to keep doing well tomorrow. And I'm not saying that. I'm not wishing, I'm not, I'm not being pessimistic here. I'm just being factual and being realistic. So I expect every lady to pray, pray sincerely with an open heart. And that's why I said, God knows your heart. God knows our intents. God knows what you're thinking that nobody is thinking about. God knows why you want to marry this man. Is it a noble reason? Or is it a um, personal economic reason? It's good to marry a rich man. It's good to ma marry a man that is, that is well, that is stable. But I want you to not only pray, I want every lady to think to think in a different way. I want mentalities to change. I want ladies to start thinking with, like, think about it this way. The man that you want to marry, he's, he was just a young man. He was also in school like you. He, he went to school. He wrote exams like you. He sought for a job. He got a job. He started working. You went to school too. You wrote exams like him too. You can look for a good job. Now, the world is full of opportunities. And it's funny, there are some great organizations that would rather give a job to a lady. They, because they are, every company is looking for diversity now. So any lady that is so determined and so um, diligent in her work, she gives her best, she's determined, she's smart, she's brilliant, she's organized, and she's confident when she goes for the interview. They will give you the job. So we need to start as lady to start building ourselves up. Start building yourself up. What a man can do, a woman can do also. I'm not, and this is not me being feminist or anything like that. I'm just, I'm just in this place where I want ladies to come out of this. I need a man to take me out of poverty. I need a man to take me out of misery. I need a man to, to make me have the, 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 the life of my dreams. Start thinking that your man, the man you're going to get married to is a partner with, we, with whom you're going to build a great life. Okay, in the meantime, while you're waiting for this man to come, I want you, I expect you, I hope that you will change your mindset and start to think about it this way. I need to get a good job for myself. I need to get starting. I need to get a business starting. I need to do great things while I'm waiting. I'm just not there sitting like, okay, who is going to come and marry me now? Who, who will come and just pull me out of this? No. Hmm. Be busy. While you're busy, the Bible says, deep, call it unto deep. While you're busy as a lady, it will surprise you the kind of man that will see you. You don't know who is watching you. So that's my little piece. I'm going to just stop here. I'm jumping back to work. You can see that I'm working. It's day for me, so I'm still working. But I just want you to be encouraged that as a lady, um, I want you to marry a good man, a lovely man, a rich man, <laughs> comfortable man, <laughs> yes, but you build your own internal wealth. Get wealthy yourself. Wealthy in what you know. Wealthy in what, you know, in what you can do. Not only having babies. A woman is not just for having babies. But get wealthy. Be a rounded lady. Build yourself up. Read books. Okay? Build yourself up. Go to conferences. 
apply for jobs try to go for a master's if you don't have if you if you want to have a master's to further education go for a master's don't worry that you're not yet married get busy so go for a master's go for a phd if you don't have a first degree try to go for a first degree even if you have a job in the daytime you can always take an evening class an online class just do anything and everything to upgrade yourself so this is the the last thing i'm going to leave the last piece i'm going to leave with you today is do everything as a lady to upgrade yourself i'll come for the men next time <laughs> for now bye for all those who joined me i'm happy i'm happy that you joined nikki chukuma bye everyone